Hello and welcome. It's been a long time since I've done an unboxing on this channel, but Mistel have released the X8 and they were kind enough to send one across me to take a look at. So let's dig in. We'll start simply by opening the box it shipped in. You can see here, as we open it, it ships with a protective plastic cover and sleeve. And at this point, I had already opened the keyboard up, which is why it looks a bit messy. The manual I had actually forgotten to put back in as I boxed it back up, so here it is. It goes over the macro recording settings and how to set the keyboard up if you wanted to use Bluetooth. This variant of the X8 ships in what Mistel call a glaze blue colour scheme and it has yellow legends on the keycaps. Flipping it over you see you have adjustable legs with two heights and by folding the leg out that you want to use you can change the height. Both have rubber grips to help prevent slipping on your desk. In the centre of the keyboard you have the on-off switch for the Bluetooth and a USB-C port if you wanted to simply wire it up instead. You also have four dip switches to control some of the advanced features which are described in the manual. Popping out the battery compound, you can now know uh, it takes two AAA batteries. So with the keyboard pretty much out of the way, uh, we'll dig further into the box at this point and first up you can see you get two replacement keycaps for the keyboard a replacement caps lock key and an escape key caps lock key is stepped if you like that a mistel keycap puller Two AAA batteries, which is pretty good. And a gold plated USB C cable. So if we take one of the keycaps off, you can see that the keycaps are double shot, which means that they are two layers of plastic moulded into the same keycap. Mistel also use a PBT plastic, which should guarantee a long life for the actual keycaps themselves. Mistel also opt to use Cherry MX key switches on the X8, which again mean for exceptional quality overall and a long life. With the unboxing out of the way though, let's take a quick sound test so you can hear how the keyboard sounds.
first impressions of the Mr. LX8 are very good. It's a bit of a tank in terms of the build quality, and the Bluetooth is a nice touch to add to such a keyboard. Lack of an included adapter might be an oversight to some, but you can always just use the cable. And as always, a full review will be up on daveplays.co.uk soon.